Spawning aggregations are massive gatherings of fish for breeding, a wildlife spectacle comparable to those of other iconic species and as critical for conservation. This behavior is shared by many species across the globe, often including 95% of a population of one single fish. Spawning aggregation supports some of the most productive fisheries, from multi-billion dollar industries to subsistence cultures. Yet, we are only beginning to understand their value for marine ecosystems and food security, and most important, their vulnerability. In the upper Gulf of California in Mexico, a large marine fish known as the Gulf Corvina offers an insight into the importance of this behavior. Every year, just before the spring tides, corvinas migrate to spawn in the shallow estuary of the Colorado River Delta, and during a brief period, the whole population concentrates in an area that is less than 1% of its entire home range. These gatherings increase the corvinas' breeding success in an exponential way and create temporary productivity hotspots that benefit many other species. They're also good for fishers. A predictable large catch with minimal effort means sizable earnings. And every season, up to two million fish are caught in just 25 days of labor. This sudden abundance floods the market and prices plummet in a matter of hours, forcing the local communities to fish more and more in an attempt to make a profit. Demand keeps dropping until the market shuts down and several tons of corvine that have already been caught end up in landfills, wasting not only the fish, but also the trillions of eggs that would replenish the stock. This vicious circle repeats over and over, triggered by an illusion of plenty that results from the sheer density of the spawning aggregation and our inability to know how many fish are truly under the water. Fishers go on for several years harvesting the same amount, confident that the stock is stable because there is no decline in the catch. But often they are surpassing the capacity of a population to recover until one year they harvest the last sizable catch and the fishery collapses. Spawning aggregations are a critical step in the life cycle of many fish species. But in the past decades, many have declined or collapsed due to overfishing. A small investment in the protection of spawning aggregations, the mechanism that sustains the replenishment of the fisheries, can offer disproportionately large benefits to both ecosystem and local community. If aggregations are part of our natural capital, eggs and juveniles are their interests. Is it a wise economic decision to live off our capital? Visit thenaturalnumbers.org